Temperatures are incredibly mild to start your Tuesday morning. In fact, some folks actually warmer than our average high temperature for the last day of January, which is 62. You see a lot of upper 50s out there. Coming at a cost, though, we got a lot of fog across the area as well. Check out Effingham County, Springfield down to zero visibility, but you see that all the way down into the southern part of the area as well. Now, out at the coast, it's not as bad near Tybee as you make your way toward Bryan County, but it's one of those where you could come across those patches. So go slow, use those low beams, give yourself a lot of space between you and the car ahead of you. You can see that fog there in Hardyville as you're heading out this morning. So if you need to get some shopping done, I know I've got to hit the grocery store today. Well, the clouds are going to linger. That dense fog advisory for all of us expires at 10 o'clock this morning, and we'll see those temperatures climbing into the upper 60s before lunch. We're going to finish in the 70s today. Another very sticky afternoon, and you can see those 70s all over this work week until Friday and that is when we're going to have our next stronger front move through. We got a couple of weak things that happen in between now and then and keep those rain chances in the forecast. So when you head out tomorrow morning, you might encounter a little rain. You might see some wet roadways as well, but our biggest rain chances as this front passes through late Thursday into Friday and it's going to be another soaker folks. So get ready for it. It clears out for the weekend and we'll start Saturday with sunshine. Sunday those clouds come back a little light chance of rain as well. And then the temperatures try to rebound, but in between now and then we go from those 70s to a cooler forecast. Like I said, heavy downpours possible, another one to two inches. Some of those pockets wanting to produce quite a bit more. So as you look at your 10 day, well, we'll see the coolest temperature of, those, of this work week on Friday. And then Saturday, the coolest temperatures that we see, some of us getting back into the 30s for those overnight lows. But we'll see those temperatures climbing again as we go into next week. All right, thanks.